At Wind River Resort and Casino, we like to celebrate life's little moments. Oh, and the big ones too. Because around here, when you're completely in the moment, that's when the magic happens. Come in and find your moment at Wind River Resort and Casino. Uh, good morning, everyone. Before we see this all move on out, we got some action on the elk cam. Look at they're they're running. They are moving those elk. I don't know where they're going. I don't know if the herd is over there, but uh, I saw that just as we were kind of going through the commercial break there, uh, we could see that I could see the elk there in the cameras there. So always fun to see the elk. Look at that guy up there in the parking lot. He's like, I'm not going. Now he's running. There's some going on. I don't know what's going on. The, the, now they're running in different directions. In, oh, no, that was a little, little lag there in the, in the internet connection. But isn't that fun? Look at that. Kind of a fun way to start the morning, checking out the elk. I don't know if I'd want it running after me or in my direction, but uh, there you go. Well, oh, <laughs> there he goes. I don't know what's going on. There, there must be some activity, some action. I don't know. Um, that's kind of fun. All right. Good morning, everyone. Uh, that was a fun little start to the uh, to the show there. Like I say, I was just kind of checking out the cameras like, oh, check that out. Look what's going on over there. Uh, but it uh, looks like we are going to start off with... Um, you know, some fairly mild temperatures again here. It looks like, uh, you'll have to forgive me, I didn't actually load up my show for today. So I gotta get that going here. But uh, yeah, we did um, we did see another cool day out there yesterday. Temperatures were well below normal. Now the thing is, we're on a bit of a warming trend. And if you look outside, you see that it's dry. And it will be dry for most of us through the entire morning. It's sometime in the afternoon that many of us, not all of us, that many of us will start to see at least chances for showers, maybe even a few thunderstorms entering the picture as well. But uh, overall, I don't expect a lot of rainfall for the valley. And most of the rain looks to be in the eastern mountains. Uh, so it looks like we do have uh, some changes uh, in store for us, though, after today. Um, let's get you to, and boy, it's taking a long time for this show to load up, isn't it? Uh, there we go. Let's get you to Kruger's Quick Cast so you all know what to expect as you're heading out the door this morning. Uh, and we're going to take a look at uh, the radar to start things off. Now, last night, <clears throat> excuse me, earlier this morning, we did see some showers out there. Now, it doesn't look like there were any lightning strikes. We'll see if this loop decides to kind of go around again here. Let's see if we can get that started. Come on. There it is. I uh, didn't see any lightning strikes, but yeah, it looks like uh, Siskiyou County, Modoc County saw the bulk of the activity last night, early this morning. But now... It has dried out and it should stay dry through a good portion of the day. Let's take a look at the temperatures out there right now. Temperatures mainly upper 50s, low 60s in the valley. Uh, and then, of course, we're going to be looking at those temperatures in the 40s. For most of us in the higher elevations and for the coast, temperatures in the low 50s. So you can see the visibility is, uh, you know, there, there are some low clouds out there a little bit here. Nine miles in Eureka, about six miles of visibility in Crescent City. Unfortunately, the camera is still down. Out at Harbor District in Crescent City, but again, we'll take a look at the camera there uh, in Elk Country, just north of Trinidad. So, yeah, you can see off in the distance there, there are some more elk. So, it looks like they're deciding to kind of hang out there this morning. And off in the distance, you can kind of see some of the semi overcast skies there, but there are most likely some breaks in the clouds there as well. Uh, so, we're going to be looking at, and I'll tell you what, it's going to be dry for. Del Norte County. Dry all day today for northern Humboldt County. Dry for northern Siskiyou County. Dry for northern uh, Modoc County as well. And there's going to be some fog this morning in parts of Modoc. You can see, look at that, out in El Turris. You're looking at zero mile visibility. So we are seeing some fog. With some of the showers we saw last night, there's some clearing. And that allows us to see some of that fog begin to develop. Otherwise, we're looking at clear skies elsewhere. Let's get you out the door this morning. We've got those temperatures uh, in the upper 50s for most of us in the valley at 8 o'clock in the morning. Temperatures in the mid to upper 40s for the higher elevations and it looks like the coast in the mid 50s. And you'll notice no raindrops from any of those clouds this morning. And that'll be the case all morning long. Let's take a look at Futurecast and we'll show you here as we take you to the noon hour. Actually, you see some breaks in the clouds. Now, by, after, by around noon, we start to see a few showers developing, especially to the east of the valley, maybe even out towards southern Humboldt County near Garberville. 
a chance for a few showers. Now, one thing that I do want to mention is that over the last few days, Futurecast and really all the forecast models have been way overdoing the potential for thunderstorms and the intensity of the rain that is heading our way. <clears throat> so that would lead me to believe that as we go through the day today, it's not going to be as intense as it looks there. There are going to be some showers. There may be a, stra a straight thunderstorm. And if a thunderstorm should develop, then you're talking about some periods of heavy rainfall for areas that get cut under the thunderstorms. But that's going to be few and far between. Not everyone's going to see the heavy rainfall. Not everyone's going to see raindrops today. Uh, not everyone's going to see sunshine today. It just depends on what's going on and where you are in location. You know, we talk about the microclimates in this area so many times because we do. We have so many microclimates and that's why I've, I've broken up our entire area into six different neighborhoods. So you can really, if you just want to focus on one particular microclimate or one area, you can do that. And we'll go into that in a little bit more detail on how you can access that. But there you can see 3 p.m. today, uh, we're beginning to see more of that development here. And it could roll into the valley here by late afternoon, early evening. But I don't anticipate any thunderstorms for the valley, probably just a few stray showers. And I think some of us in the valley, many of us in the valley, may not, may not even see a drop of rain today. It'll just be some of the clouds, a little ominous. It'll look like it's going to rain, but it may not rain in many areas. And even if it does, a lot of it may even evaporate before reaching the ground. That Virga. You see those streaks coming from the clouds? That's that Virga. But you can see most of the activity is east of the valley. But look at places like Trinity County and southern Humboldt County. There were a few showers that kind of moved through, that will move through this afternoon possibly. And you can see southern, uh, southern Modoc County, southern Siskiyou County also seen that potential. Otherwise, northern Modoc, northern Siskiyou, Del Norte, northern Humboldt will most likely be dry all day long today. Then we go into tonight and most of it is down to the south and east, but we could see a stray shower even tonight for places like Chico and Oroville. All right, let's take a look at our forecast for today. And there's that chance for showers in the valley later this afternoon, but dry this morning. Showers, thunderstorms, mainly to the east. Now, I've included thunderstorms for Trinity County because we can't rule that out, especially with some of the clearing we're going to see this morning. That could allow for enough daytime heating for a straight thunderstorm. So I don't want to rule that out. Otherwise, just some straight showers, isolated showers for Trinity County. Uh, and then, of course, you can see temperatures in the 70s for most of the higher elevations, upper 70s, low 80s for the valley. So it's beginning to warm up a little bit. You'll notice temperature is just a tad warmer. We take a look at your seven day outlook and you can see, of course, uh, dry conditions and warmer. In fact, we could already be up to 90 by tomorrow. So it's been nice and cool out there, but that is coming to an end in the valley by the end of the week. And of course, this weekend. Taking a look at the coast. So you notice I don't have any raindrops there or inland. Keep in mind, that's mainly for Del Norte, Northern Humboldt. If you live in Eureka southward, and of course it, heading into the inland areas too, there, it, it, the, the farther north you go, the slimmer the chances for rain. That's for the inland, that's for the coast. Um, as you head south, though, places like Garberville, yeah, I think you'll see a chance for showers, maybe in an isolated thunderstorm. And again, you'll notice I've got in Weaverville, the lightning strikes. Honestly, I should just have maybe a chance for showers in there because the chances for thunderstorms are very slim. Uh, and then it looks like as we go into Thursday, you've got upper 80s. That'll be the case on Friday. And then it's warming up, especially by the weekend. And we've even got some mid to upper 90s by the beginning of next week for Inland and for Trinity County. Let's take a look at Siskiyou County, Modoc County, and the Eastern Mountains. And as I mentioned, Northern Shasta, excuse me, Northern Siskiyou County, Wairika, places like that, probably dry all day. Alturas, you've got a chance. North of Alturas, probably dry all day. All of the Eastern Mountains, Eastern, uh, Eastern Shasta, Eastern Tehama, Eastern Butte, Lassen and Plumas County, all have a chance for showers and thunderstorms today. And tomorrow, yes, even tomorrow. Oh, and did I forget to mention, let's take you back to the valley. Look at that. No showers or thunderstorms for Redding or Red Bluff, but look at Chico. I've still got a chance for you on Thursday. Stick around because that's a bit of a teaser, right? Because uh, we could be looking at the potential um, for some of that um, activity for places like Chico tomorrow. Can you believe it? We're talking about, what's this mess behind me? I got my suit from yesterday, actually. Um, so yeah, 
Uh, happy Wednesday from Delinda. Steven saying greetings. Bill Carlton saying good morning to everyone. We've got Ruth Sanchez and Lisa also saying good morning to everybody. Hey, let's take a look at the uh, fires uh, because there's just not much to really talk about with the fires. You can see the Boise fire uh, still at uh, about 91% containment. We're not seeing any change here. There have not been really that many reports coming in from the fires. Uh, really over the last week, last couple of weeks really, 99% containment from the park fire. Uh, we take you out to the Bear Fire, 88% containment. Now what that tells me is when there aren't a lot of those reports coming in, there's just not a lot of activity coming in from these fires, but they've still got a lot they've got to do to kind of help mop up those fires a little bit. All right, so there you can see the winds today or this morning are actually fairly calm. The winds later on today, not that bad. They may be a little breezy in some spots, some of those higher mountain ridges, some of those mountain valleys as well. And along the coast, it's been a little breezy as well. We take a look at the humidity levels, still fairly high, but we are starting to see them slowly drop. Still though, at least in the mid 20% range for most of us in the valley. Willow's about 32% and a little bit more than that just east of the valley. But it's beginning to dry out, and we'll see those drier conditions here over the next couple of days. Beautiful shot over Lake Oroville. You can see that sunrise shot there. You can see the breaks in the clouds. Let's take you out to Lake Oroville, North Four Bay. Beautiful shot there as well. You can see the reflection of those clouds in that calm lake. We've got those calm winds out there this morning. Not so calm, or ugh. well, those cameras are not updating for some reason here but what do you do? Uh, there is a look at Highway 99 at Neal Road, and yeah, you got the traffic flowing there, but nothing major. No backups, at least. You can look forward to that. Take a look at, at the Highway 44 at Sundial Bridge Drive. Unfortunately, this camera is not in motion, so we just get a still shot there. And we have got, uh, before we do that, I'll kind of check in again with some of you here. Now, we've got Curtis Brown saying, good morning, Mike, off to Fortuna for a day trip. Hey, you know what? That should be good for you. Uh, I'm assuming you're going to be going to, uh, to the coast for tuna via Route 299, right? Because if you are, of course, you could go on at 36. I believe you're in Red Bluff, so it might be you might be going down 36. But uh, you know, just be prepared. You know, especially if you're going in the morning, I think you'll be fine. You don't have to worry about any rain. There might be some patchy fog in some areas here, uh, and for tuna. Uh, fairly dry today. Fortuna is kind of in that borderline zone of where we could see some showers and maybe not see some showers. So it just depends. So uh, have a good, safe trip, Curtis. I hope you have a, a fun trip there. We've got Krista saying good morning as well. And a lot of good mornings out there uh, this morning. Uh, let's take a look at the calendar for today. What's, what, what national holiday is it today across uh, the area? Let's see what we got here. Um, we have got Air Force Birthday, National HIV AIDS and Aging Awareness Day, National Cheeseburger Day. Mm. Now that is worth celebrating, right? Who doesn't love a cheeseburger? A good one at that. In fact, in the comment section below, put in some of your favorite places to get a cheeseburger or just a, a hamburger in general. That's always fun. I, you know, everyone's always looking for that perfect burger, like their favorite burger. I mean, because, I mean, bur so many different places have different ways of doing it. And I tell you, some people really have honed it in at a perfect science. National Paw Paw Day? What? National Butterscotch Pudding Day. I mean, I like butterscotch pudding, but I don't know. That does not look appetizing based on that image right there. <laughs> that looks like Thousand Island dressing. Uh, talk like a pirate day. Now, the thing is, I've tried to talk like a pirate before, and I don't do a very good job with it, so I don't attempt at it. But um, some people are good at it. So you may have some friends who, if they catch a glimpse at the national calendar and see that it's National Pirate Day, then you might be uh, fortunate enough to hear someone mention and talk like a pirate. Sounds like fun there. Uh, we have got Susan saying her favorite place for a burger is Fall River Brewer. Brewery, that is. Okay. 
that might be worth checking out. Listen, I'm all about it. Ooh, you know what? Uh, Krista is saying her favorite place is Dam Burger. I actually happen to know the owners of Dam Burger, and they are just some great people. They are phenomenal. By the way, they also kind of a little side thing. They they um, they make granola, um, and so you'll see them. They got a, a booth set up at the farmers market in Reading on Saturdays, uh, and they make some really good granola too. So. Kind of check out their side business too. Maybe if you head out to the farmer's market on this upcoming Saturday, you might see them. Tell them Mike Kruger sent you. Um, but uh, yes, I agree. Damburger is awesome. Uh, who else do we got here? We got Delinda saying uh, she likes, um, let's kind of take it back here, Bulldog Bite. Where's that? I've never heard of that before. Is that in Reading? That sounds, I mean, you put Bulldog in there. That just sounds awesome. So that sounds like maybe a good burger. We've got Jackie Dixon saying that her favorite burger joint is Bistro in Fortuna. Hmm. Can't say that I've been there, although I've heard pretty good. Um, oh, Delinda, you're saying it's in MacArthur. Um, the Bulldog Bite. Ah, okay. So that would be a, a bit of a drive for me from Reading. But, you know, maybe next time I'm in MacArthur, got to check it out. Um, awesome. Well, it's always fun to try to find that person. So if you were to ask me where my favorite place to get a burger is, let me think about this for a second here. Um, you know who has a really good burger? And I don't do burgers a lot because my problem is I'm really trying to avoid sugars and carbs. So the bun. But if I'm going all out and I'm going to have a burger, I would say that my favorite place... There's a, a really great burger joint, or not burger joint, but a great restaurant in Mount Shasta, downtown Mount Shasta. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just completely, totally brain farted right now. Um, pipeline, my goodness. Uh, pipeline. Um, and they have great healthy options. They've also got burgers. And they're burgers. Uh, they use good local beef. I believe they use pr Prather, Prather, I forget how you say it. I believe they, but they use a local uh, cattle um, or a local ranch. And it's really good. And you see, my son also appreciates a good burger because it's not just the fixings. Because for him, he doesn't actually like ketchup, all the fixings on it. He likes it totally plain. He likes the bun, the burger and cheese. That's it nothing else. So he appreciates good beef. He can taste the difference of good beef versus bad beef. So there is another place we had gone. They're known for their excellent burgers because they put so much stuff on it, right? All the sides, but he doesn't do that. So when he had that burger at that place, I'm not going to say, cause I don't want to talk poorly of another place, but he noticed that the beef wasn't as good. But he noticed when he was at Pipeline in Mount Shasta, the beef was really good, just a, a much better tasting beef. So a good quality beef, I, I go for all for it. The grass-fed beef, the works. I love it. Yaks in Mount Shasta City. Yes, uh, I believe it's, there's also the Yaks in, um, well, just south of, I believe, in kind of the Dunsmere area where a lot of people go, especially after they're skiing. Yaks, yaks. A lot of people saying yaks. Okay, yeah. A lot of people like the yaks. Uh, we got Norma Jeans in... Oh, let's go ahead and put these up here too. Norma Jeans in Cottonwood. Uh, Delinda... Let's say, oh, it's across from the high school. Uh, the MacArthur, the, uh, the the Bulldog Bite. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, Norma Jean saying... Uh, yeah, I'm saying not Norma Jean. It's actually Linda saying Norma Jeans in Cottonwood. Have I had... Have I been there before? I don't know. I don't think I have. Um, also, oh, we've got another one from Jackie saying, also no brand burger stand. Well, that's got a nice little ring to it. In Ferndale. Ferndale. That's always a nice place to visit. We were there a couple weeks ago, weekends ago, uh, for the fair uh, out there in Ferndale. So we did not run across that. Of course, I wasn't looking for a burger. But these are all kind of cool things to kind of keep in mind. Great. Well, that is awesome. Now many of you know where to get a good burger around here. I'll tell you what, that's a lot of burger talk. Now I'm hungry for a burger, even though it's 7.20 in the morning. 
but I say a good burger any time of the day. All right, let's get you to the forecast, shall we? And of course, as you know, it's made possible by Wind River Resort and Casino. At Wind River Resort and Casino, enjoy friendly service, a wide variety of specials and promotions, plus all of your favorite slots and table games. All right, let's get you to that forecast. We're going to start off by taking a look at the radar. Now, last night, early this morning, we saw some showers in Siskiyou and Modoc County. We're going to get that loop kind of coming around again here, but now you can see it is dry. But wait a couple more seconds, we'll start to see that loop kind of come back. So yeah, you can see that activity that we did see, even a little bit of activity in eastern Shasta and north of Chester here. But as I mentioned, things are dry right now. And you know what? It'll be dry the rest of the morning, I think, for everybody. Temperatures upper 50s, low 60s for the valley. We got 42 for Alturas, 44 degrees in Bernie, 53 for Crescent City and Redway right now, a temperature of about 52 degrees. Headlines, cool and unsettled pattern continues. It's like I've been saying cool and unsettled all week long so far. And well, for a good reason, because it is. We got a warming trend the rest of the week. We're gonna notice it even today. It's gonna be a bit warmer out there. And with the warmer temperatures and still the good humidity out there, it's going to feel a bit muggy too. Uh, even though with those cooler temperatures, that those muggy conditions can certainly have an impact. Back to the 90s for the valley by the weekend, for almost everyone in the valley, right? But I think even as early as tomorrow, places like Reading could see 90 degrees by tomorrow. First day of fall is Sunday. Can you believe it? It's felt like fall to start off the week. And when we officially transition into fall, it's going to feel more like summer. So Mother Nature's kind of doing a little flip-flop on us here. There you can see those winds, not that strong right now, but they will be picking up a little bit in the afternoon, but nothing major, right? Really, we're seeing just the, the typical semi-breezy conditions here through the afternoon uh, for today, tomorrow, and Friday. It looks a little gusty here, just off the coast there near Crescent City, especially. So be aware of that. The winds may be picking up there. The humidity. So again, it's going to feel a little muggy out there with a temperature of about 80 degrees in Redding, but... <laughs> You know, if you if you live or have ever lived or visited Texas or the, the South or even the Midwest, this is nothing. When it's 80 degrees and 25% humidity, that's not muggy to them. They're like, that's super dry. But for us, we're not used to that. So it's going to feel a bit more muggy out there uh, today because those temperatures have, are increasing a bit. Now, notice the humidity levels are dropping, but still into the teens. That's good to see. At least we're not dropping down into the single digits. So that makes at least that fire weather risk a little bit lower. But heck, I think even the last few days, there were there were fires that started. There were, uh, you know, grass fires and bush fires that started during high humidity and low temperatures. So now that we're warming things up and the humidity is dropping, yeah, we can't let our guard down. We're still in the fire season, folks, and we still need to be careful. Area of low pressure right here, it's just, you can clearly see it. It's just barreling down the coast here. So as it moves down to the south, uh, we'll be looking at that, bringing the rain along with it. So the Storm Prediction Center has the best chance for thunderstorms in the areas in green here. And I think this is a pretty good representation. I think most of the thunderstorms will be in the eastern mountains, just east of the valley. Slim, slim chance for the valley seeing anything. And, you know, we may see a stray thunderstorm for parts of um, southern Humboldt County near Garberville, for example, and in parts of Trinity County as well. So we can't rule that out either. But boy, I tell you what, the chances in the valley of seeing thunderstorms are looking pretty slim, but I'll keep watching it. I'll let you know if anything starts to develop here. And you see tomorrow, we are seeing more activity. Can you believe it? More of this cool and unsettled weather pattern to the south and east. Now we're gonna take a look at future cast and we're gonna kind of walk you through all of this and show you what's going on. Number one, this is the area of low pressure I was talking about. This will just ride down to the coast, but I've also included a few other things. The wind in the upper levels, this will tell us the direction that the storms will move once the showers develop. And number two, I've also included the footprint of the park fire in there. Because if we see any heavy rainfall or thunderstorms over the park fire, we're talking about the potential for mudslides and debris flows. We saw that over the weekend, at least that potential. That's why they had the flash flood warning over that area. We could be looking at another flash flood warning should a thunderstorm develop over that area. It's worth watching and keeping an eye on. So that low pressure sh system dives down to the south. Here's noon. So through the morning, almost everyone is dry all morning long. There'll be breaks in the clouds. This, by the way, with the breaks in the clouds, that will allow for a little bit of daytime heating for the first half of the day. 
This is going to help to maybe produce some scattered showers, maybe even a few thunderstorms as we start to go through the afternoon because that daytime heating, it basically heats the surface and then that, that surface heat rises into the cooler air aloft and that's, you know, the typical unstable pattern, right? Where you see showers develop and maybe even a few thunderstorms. But of course, we've also got the main area of low pressure, which is also producing that instability and giving us the showers and thunderstorms too. So there's noon. As I mentioned, mainly dry. We're just beginning to see a few uh, showers developing to the east. Now, as I mentioned earlier, future cast and the forecast models have been really overplaying and overdoing it on the intensity of the rain here and even thunderstorms. So this may be overdoing it. But what you'll notice it is putting that over the, the park fire. So by around midday today or mid afternoon, we may see the potential for some flash flooding for the park fire. But you know, around Bernie, you'll notice also in north or southern uh, Modoc County, some showers, but really look at the valley. There's not much going on here. You can see just to the north of Redding and say around Palisadro, for example. So yeah, we may see some showers uh, kind of go into the valley. Meanwhile, we take you out to southern Humboldt. Look at that. Some showers, maybe some thunderstorms there, and just a few spotty showers trying to develop in Trinity County. But dry for Del Norte still. Okay, dry all morning, dry all afternoon for Del Norte, northern Humboldt County. Northern Siskiyou County, dry all day. Northern Modoc County, dry all day. But Alturas, you can see a stray shower or thunderstorm this afternoon. Now we go into 6 p.m. Some of those showers off to our east may kind of roll down into the valley. So we could see a stray shower sprinkle. Nothing heavy is expected for the valley. Now that being said, off chance for a thunderstorm. Can't rule it out. As I mentioned, I'll be watching it closely. Meanwhile, most of the rain is east of the valley and especially southeast of the valley. And even uh, looks like a little bit of activity still trying uh, around, hum uh, around central Humboldt County and into Trinity County as well. And also still a little bit of activity still trying to linger in southeastern Siskiyou in southern Modoc County as well. But the bulk of the activity is to the south of that. We go into tonight, it's all gone, with the exception of a few showers here and maybe even a stray sprinkle or light shower for places like Chico, Orville, or even Willows. But check this out. It's done for everybody by tomorrow morning. And you're going to wake up tomorrow morning and go, all right, whew, we're done. We're done with the rain, although the rain's nice, right? But you might be saying, okay, the rain's over with. Not Hold on there a second, because there you have it right here. We still have that area of low pressure down to our south and east. The flow around that, you see, this is why I put the winds in here, because we've got that flow coming around the north side of that area of low pressure. That may bring a few showers tomorrow afternoon for places basically Lassen, Plumas, Eastern Tehama, Eastern Butte, and really all of Butte, because even Chico and Orville, maybe Willows tomorrow afternoon could see a stray shower. And then there you can see again, even to the east of that as well. So yes, we've got the chances in there tomorrow, but it's gonna be few and far between. We're kind of getting out the backside of that. Then by Friday, now we're done. Everybody's done with it. And it's gonna be drier and warmer. Rainfall totals, I, I hesitate to even show you this because I just don't really buy it, the totals here. It's not even showing any totals here for the valley, but the valley can pick up a trace to a few hundreds of an inch of rainfall. But bottom line, what this really mainly illustrates, and don't pay too much attention to these numbers for exact uh, numbers, but you'll notice the bulk of the rain is to the east and especially to the south and east. That's where we're seeing the bulk of that rainfall. All right, so precipitation outlook from the Climate Prediction Center, drier than normal wetter than normal off to our east. No big surprises there. So there's the storm system that's giving us the cool and unsettled weather pattern today. That shifts to the south. So even on Thursday, remember we were, I was talking about the chance for showers uh, around Chico, east of that as well. That's because of the flow around that area of low pressure right here. That begins to finally move on out of here by Friday through the weekend. High pressure just kind of lingers off the coast in the, into Eastern Pacific. It's just going to hang out there, but it's going to allow our temperatures to increase as early as tomorrow. But we're talking low to mid 90s by the weekend for the valley, mid to upper 90s by early next week. And the reason for that, that high pressure finally shifts to the east. It'll be its strongest around Monday, Tuesday. That's when we expect mid to upper 90s. But then this cooler air here, this trough, it'll ride over that ridge and suppress that heat. Temperatures start to drop again, but still above normal, still in the 90s for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But you get the idea. 
uh, that is going to really help to suppress that heat and prevent us from getting into the triple digits at this point. So the warmer the normal category, not out of the question. Here's your 10-day trend for Reading at least. We're already beginning to warm up today. We've been in the 70s the last few days. Today, more like the low 80s. So we're starting the warming trend today, back up to 90 tomorrow, low to mid 90s by Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Look at that, we're getting in the upper 90s by Monday, Tuesday. But remember, that cooler air riding to our north, that will allow our temperatures to drop slightly, but still right around or just above normal for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of next week. So yeah. Yeah, first day of fall is Sunday, but it's not going to feel that way as we go into Sunday. Wave heights are going to be fairly high, especially just to off the coast here, and they're going to continue to increase going into your Thursday. The, the winds are picking up, the wave heights are picking up as well. No small correct advisories today, but there will be some of that patchy, dense fog out there. The wind starting off not very strong, but they'll be picking up this afternoon out of the north at about 10 to 15 knots, with your waves eventually from the northwest at four feet at about 11 seconds. So for today, taking a look at your Trinity County neighborhood forecast. Again, I, I, I probably should have just put showers here in hindsight, but you get the idea. There could be a straight shower, maybe even a straight thunderstorm. So don't look at this. This is why, this is why things get tricky with the forecast sometimes, because if you don't have me to explain the map, you'll look at this and go, oh my gosh, everyone's going to see thunderstorms. No, that's not the case here. In fact, there's a very good chance all of Trinity County won't even see one thunderstorm, but maybe just some stray showers. And there's a very good chance many of you in Trinity County won't even see a drop of rain. Most of the rain and showers will be east of Trinity County and east of the valley, really. But still about 76 degrees for High and Palm, 69 degrees for Wildwood. Let's take you into southern Humboldt County. Now, yes, chance for showers, maybe even an isolated thunderstorm. So Red Crest, southward, Best chances for showers. That includes Shelter Cove and Honeydew, right? Take you up north, borderline at this point where we're seeing showers. Ferndale, Fortuna, Hydesville, temperatures mainly in the mid to upper 60s. Take you up north, Eureka, Blue Lake, Hoopa, Willow Creek, all seen that chance for showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm, but mainly just a straight shower. But very good chance you won't even see anything. But this is where we have the best chances. Now we start heading north of that. Uh, say, let's go with Trinidad. Say Trinidad northward, you'll probably be looking at dry conditions all day long today. Temperatures in the mid 60s, even upper 60s by the time we do get into Monday, Tuesday. Now for Siskiyou County, places like Hornbrook, Wairika, Montague, and Grenada, and even Gazelle, most likely you're dry all day long today. Highway 96, Horse Creek, Said Valley, Happy Camp, most likely you'll be dry all day long today. As we take you into Scott Valley, all right, there may be a chance for a few showers here uh, as we go through the afternoon. Otherwise, it's dry and warmer by the end of the week. Central Eastern Siskiyou County, Weed, Mount Shasta, Dunsmuir, McLeod. I think you've got a chance for showers today. But up to the Northeast, Tennant, McDowell, Doris, Tule Lake, I think you'll be dry all day long today. And it's warming up. We're back into the 80s by tomorrow and this weekend. Modoc County neighborhood forecast, Newell, Fort Bidwell, probably dry all day long. As we start heading north into Canby, Altura, Cedarville, southward, you've got a chance for showers and maybe, maybe even a straight thunderstorm. Otherwise, just a chance for a few stray showers. Uh, it's dry and warmer by Thursday. We're back in the mid to upper 70s by the weekend, upper 70s, low 80s by Monday, Tuesday. Your Eastern Mountains neighborhood forecast, everyone in the Eastern Mountains has a chance for showers and maybe some thunderstorms. Now, it looks like, though, when we were looking at Futurecast, we really weren't seeing a lot of activity, especially at the first half of the afternoon uh, for Lassen County. But then closer to the evening hours, Lassen County started seeing more. But everyone has that chance. You'll notice on Thursday, too, even places like Chester and Lassen Park. By the way, I'm going to take you up north because I've, as we look at the seven-day forecast for Bernie, Bernie, you won't probably see any thunderstorms tomorrow or showers. It's just today, okay? But places like, yeah, Chester, Lassen Park may see a stray shower on Thursday. And that'll be the case for Susanville as well. But Paradise, uh, you've even got a chance on Thursday. And then on Thursday for Susanville. And of course today too. 
All right, let's take a look at your Valley neighborhood forecast to the south. You've got that chance for showers in Chico both today and, yes, even tomorrow afternoon, but dry by Friday and warming up. Temperatures today, though, upper 70s to low 80s for your daytime highs. Now, for Red Bluff, Redding, I think it'll be dry by tomorrow and warmer. Red Bluff, you're up to about 88 degrees tomorrow, but for Redding, mm, you're back up to about 90. And then 93 degrees for Friday, mid 90s over the weekend. First day of fall, it's not going to feel like it. You'll be above normal with a high of 95. Temperatures continue to climb for early next week. We're up to about 96 to 97 degrees here by the time we get into Monday and Tuesday. Um, oh, <laughs> I know. So your calendar may be wrong, uh, matey. Tomorrow the 19th, be talk like a pirate day. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe it is. Oh, you know what? That's why. These are today's. So I'm glad we were talking all about the burgers. But tomorrow, there it is. There's tomorrow. National Pawpaw Day, National Butterscotch Pudding Day, and Talk Like a Pirate Day. So that's tomorrow. Good catch, Chappie. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, let me, let me show you. So that's, th this is what we're looking at. And I saw today's national holidays. I didn't, I didn't see this right here and that's tomorrow. That's talk like a pirate day. So there you go. All right. Thank you, Chappie, for correcting me on that one. I appreciate that. Um, Tracy, now we're going back to the burgers again. All right, cool. Uh, my guy makes yummy burgers at home. Well, there you go. You can't beat a good home burger. You know, my wife makes uh, great burgers as well, especially when we have the good stuff. Sometimes she'll even bring um, like buffalo meat or something like that. Pretty good. Um, all right. Well, that was fun. Well, thanks again, Chappie, for uh, kind of get me, get me uh, straightened away on that here. Well, that's going to do it for us this morning, folks. Uh, that was fun. I enjoy. See, that's what we need. We need a fun little topic that we all can kind of just uh, chat it up and talk about some of our favorite things. So I'll try to make a point to, you know, try to find some kind of topic where we can all kind of talk. I, you know, we can't necessarily do it every day, all day long, but, you know, it certainly is kind of fun. But that's going to do it for us this morning. So glad you could join us on Coffee with Kruger this morning, every weekday morning at 7 a.m. Before we get to all of that, I was mentioning earlier that I want to remind you that I do have a great section called Neighborhood Forecast. And I'm going to take you to it here. Let me put the music down here for a second. And I'm going to take you to weathernorcal.com from the website. Now, keep in mind, you can access this from the free Weather NorCal app as well. But I'm going to take you to, see the very top here where it says neighborhoods, okay? Um, you'll see Valley, Trinity County, North Coast, Siskiyou County, Modoc County, and Eastern Mountains. These are the microclimates I was talking about. So if we take you all to the bottom, we have, if you are more visual, you can go to all the six different neighborhoods. So let's say you live in Modoc County and you just want the forecast for Modoc County, nowhere else. You don't care about anybody else. That's perfectly fine and I've got you covered there. Because all you gotta do, number one, every morning, Monday through Friday, I record one forecast that is spe specifically focused 100% on Modoc County. So you can watch that every morning to get the forecast for the day and a quick look at the seven day forecast too. Then I have a little qu quick discussion there. You can kind of read the forecast and you can look at all the different maps, hourly forecast, regional forecast, and your seven day forecast. Same thing for Trinity County. There's Trinity County with my weird face. It kind of took a weird, but there's the, the video forecast just for Trinity County. Same situation. You've got the hourly forecast, you've got the regional forecast here, and you've got your seven day forecast in there as well. So be sure to check out those neighborhood forecasts because that, those are a great resource, especially if you either A, live in one of these areas, or if you're traveling to one of these areas, you can get that specific forecast for that area. So be sure to check that out. Okay, enough of that. Let's uh, get you to some of these cameras and wrap up the show and get you ready for the day. Hope you have yourselves a great Wednesday. It's hump day, just halfway through the week. We've got a couple more days before the weekend is here and get out there and enjoy this beautiful weather. It's still gonna be cool this morning, warming up a little bit by the afternoon with that chance for showers. Have a great day, everybody. And we'll see you tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. on right here on Coffee with Krieger.